it's a signature you need to understand signature has implications <laughs> it has implications either you are there you are not there it can stand as representative of you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray in this back last seven Sunday of Peter's signature. Every wrong signature that have marked against your life the divine signature will override it Amen. tell the person beside you don't sleep on me so at night -tart. it's already night -tart. have you watched it's 10 30. tell him that you should not sleep probably that's your own signature yes they already told you at 10 30 that signature must sound. Yes. There is. I work in a place where signature have taken people to prisons. And I work in a place where your signature can be expired even though you have money in your account. And you will present the check, they will tell you that we cannot honor this check any longer. In these seven days of service of signature victory, never miss any one of these class services because when the signature come upon you it radically has implication all over your destiny revelation chapter 7 verse number 3 give me niv Evrano yende rimala tuli le yarama le yarama le yamaria le yarama suri randarabo kezulania elima elima yasari elima elima shatala boli laramaya. He said, Do not arm the land of fire or join international. The sea or the tree until we put a seal. Tell somebody, seal. A D D. I can hear your voice. A D D. On the forehead of the servants of God. Every one of you is a servant <laughs> in the <laughs> presence <laughs> of God. In Russia or London. But God said there's a signature that can come upon your life. That wherever that the arm that is visiting a territory, wherever arm that is visiting businesses, I told you last year that they will still buy bread 3,000 naira in this nation this year. Yes, sir. How many of you hear that voice? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You know how much you are buying the paint of Gary or the paint of beans, paint or whatever. Check the prices. Am I talking somebody here? See. Whoa. All this particular prophecy, it has gone before you. But God is telling his own people that even within all these particular arms, I have marked my own people with a mark of doing better things. When you do not see it, when you do not believe in it, you will cry the way they are crying. Yes. There's a God in this nation that can still feed you the way he feed Elijah when there's a there was a famine in Samaria. 
What about what do you what do you think about that? Even when you are selling, when other people are not selling, you can go back home with what you are sold. And somebody will be telling you in the same market, share Roger Talini. And you'll be asked, share that way to wash your journey. Because you are connected to a tribe. And what is that tribe? Doing oh, it better. He said, I will place my seal upon them. That nobody will harm their land. Nobody will harm their seed. Nobody harm their children. Nobody harm anything that pertains to them. This is one of the pathway to that victorious path, to put the victorious ending. What is signature? You might like to write it down. It is a mark, a seal, a trademark, a weakness representing a personality concept. In his consent and his authority, or representing a person and writing, gesture or character. I need to give you this particular variety of understanding so that when you read the Bible, you have a depth understanding what signature is all about. Signature is a personality or somebody concept or authority. I can sign a check of one billion naira for you here this morning. Which I expect some of the members of this backlatcher will begin to have such a kind of contract. Amen. Yes. By the time you begin to minister to the kings, you will know that the number in your check will change. Amen. I've told you many times. When you are selling market, who do you sell market to? The prisoner or the king? They determine what flows to you. I used my life as an example for you one day that when I was still working there, my customer was pepper sellers. Not that they are not good, but the money they are bringing is not enough to cater for me to be giving what kudos. Do you understand what I said? Yes, sir. But when I started working with the kings, when that money comes to the organization, they will felt it like a shark. They started calling my name before they don't call my name because I'm still selling to what people on the lower level. You are the one that sing that song. I let you me. Okay. Are you truly sure? That's the question. It's not about song only. It's about to be assured that you are no longer said to the smaller, smaller people again. And the truth is that people at the smaller level they have challenges with themselves too. I used myself as an example. I bought a new suit. I went to go and sit down with what? The mama that said tomato and what? And pepper. By the time I'm going, I even put perfume. So pepper plus perfume. What kind of odor do you think it will give? You are the one that can imagine it. Hallelujah. But when I begin to serve the king, and I put perfume in my jacket, even though when I'm coming out of that particular place, their own perfume with my own perfume, there's another aroma. Yes, sir. Life is good. Tell somebody. I don't. 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 I'm telling you. And that thing that God said to us this year, 
You will never call short in Jesus' name. The signature is about last year. That represent a personality. In that by gesture or by character. Or by handwriting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are talking about the captain of an industry, you remember what particular person in Nigeria when they come to salt. What's the name? As simple as that. Why don't you remember the name of that person? That name is a signature. Mm. Mm. And that is where God is taking your own name also concerning your business. Amen. That in this particular territory of Okoba, even though you are selling Gary, they will say, Go to that particular shop in that particular corner. Amen. They don't even bother that it is in corner, but because signature of God is upon it, they will find up a clear market. Man. Somebody hearing me here? Yes, sir. And for you that are looking for employment, when signature of God is upon you, they need not to trace you to what state or what tribe you come from. I'm asking somebody here. Yes. Let me tell you, outside there in Babylon and Egypt, they will ask you, oh, more, oh, oh, more, oh, more, oh, more. Is that not what King Saul asked Jesse? I mean, David, he said, From what tribe does this Bakla boy what came from? Because in the palace, and in the tribe of people that what we employ. I'm not talking somebody here. But when the signature of God, by the anointing of Samuel upon David, signed up David, it could not be resisted even in the palace. Remember that David is a rejected somebody. He was a forgotten somebody. Isn't it? That when the Samuel came to their house, they are even looking for him. They say, "What? Well, he's not there. He's one of they even they, they just they forgot him. There's one of. Is it not somebody that told? He said, "There's a, still somebody here that we have not what we have not seen." But because the signature of God is upon his life, he enjoyed the approval of men. He enjoyed the approval of all men. When I get to my house, if I want to enter my house, everyone in my house knows the number of times I pressed my horn. It's a signature. If that particular number is not complete, it is not yet that. It's a signature. Somebody hearing me here. In my house, when you come and look for somebody, somebody will ask you that what is my third name that they give to me as a son. So when you don't know it, it is the only first name that you know. You are not going to enter. It's a signature. Somebody hearing me here. So signature can come in form of handwriting. It can come of, uh, in form of Iwasi. It can come in form of what? Iwa. Somebody hearing me here? Yes, sir. So we have to be very careful. What kind of signature is upon our life? I'm not talking somebody here. Because the kind of signature upon you either give you access or it deny you access. You know, I may mean not fall that wanted to assess our bank account with our ATM and you forgot your pin. Until you get back to the creator of that particular card, you may be frustrated and be depressed. Somebody hear me? Either they ask you to change your pin. Or they remind you what your signature through the pain. Or that why you remain stranded in life. So it is in the spirit. What signature is upon you? What signature is upon your career? What signature is upon your home? Where does a woman's signature? I said there is human signature okay. and there is what we call a divine signature Daniel chapter 6 verse number 8 Bible told us he said now O king let the prohibition be issued over your signature immutable and irrecoverable 
according to the law or the meetings and patria. Hallelujah. You know the storyline in this particular portion of the Bible. They gang up against Daniel because of his prayer life. Not because of the house that he stays. Not because of the car that he's driving. Am I talking somewhere here? Not because of the children or the family that he has. Why did they gang up against him? Because of what? His prayer life. That is why I tell people every time you are weak in your prayer life is an attack of the devil. I tell you this particular truth. The moment you deleted a prayer life from your destiny and your altar see there's a place in the Bible that God told us that Jesus entered into the synagogue and he met those who are buying an exchange of money. Isn't it? The Bible says he took a whip. He took a whip and began okay. to wipe every one of them as of that particular synagogue. And he told them in advance. He said, this house, this temple, shall be called what? Talk to me, church. And who is that temple? Talk to me. When you read the book of John 10, 10 from that place, he told us the ministration of the devil. He, said, he came to steal, to oh. steal a war, to kill a war, to destroy. Now go back to the story I just said. He said, but you made it what? The dean of what? Of robbers. Is that what he says? What the robber came to do? To steal, to kill a war, to destroy. Meaning that any of you, any bad life that is here, that is not into prayer, there will always be an exchange in the life of that person. Yeah, it might not know. Yes. That is a mystery behind what I just said. When you are not into prayer, fullness, there will be an exchange in your temple. No wonder they exchange divine air for divine destruction. The exchange finance for poverty. They call the temple have been made the dean of the robbers. And if there's no a content in a house, robber will not come there. Isn't it? Toba said, Please. Now I'm going to they walk against him because he prayer life. Every Christian listen to me this morning. When your prayer life is not recultivated and revived, sir, there will not be potter to receive from heaven. I tell you the truth, sir. Children, listen to me, teenagers. We have seen in TikToks, we have seen in social media so many examples of child that is older than you, lesser than you in age, that they are beginning to speak in tongues, that they are prayer and they are prayerful. And please, parents, show them a creative example of how to establish a prayer altar. Your speaking is what not they follow. It is your example that they follow in 90%. So said now, okay, let provision be issued over your signature, immutable and irrecoverable, according to the law of Medes and Persia. I pray over your life this morning. Whatever signatures that already be occasion in the spirit realm to prohibit you from being a Monday that will be in the better things and better days, I cancel that signatures. 
I counsel those signatures in the mighty name of Jesus. So Daniel is telling us here there's a particular signature that can hinder that man. Daniel is of a woman. Thy signature can be made in the spirit. That the market should not sell. You should not marry on time. Let the joy that stay in that marriage only stay for four years, even though they spend 40 years. Those signatures are counsel from your destiny today. In the precious name of Jesus. Because when you read the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 14, gave me KJV. KJV, Colossians 2 14. It said blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. Now we are come to another place. Colossians chapter 2 verse 14. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. When I check the word ordinances from the Hebrew concordians, it interpreted to mean engraved seal. How many of you have already seen a rubber stamp before? Rubber stamp. It carries the name of the organization, isn't it? Yes, sir. Date and what? Signature, isn't it? Yes, sir. Now, how many of you also have seen another company seal made with metal? How many of you have seen it? Okay. Do you know on any particular check, if the mandate of that particular company say the seal must be on their check, any person that paid a particular check will go to prison. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes, yes, sir. We go to prison. Mm -hmm. Yes. There is nothing like I don't know. It is a seal. Am I talking to somebody here? Amen. Amen. So Bible is telling us Bible is that certain people only, only certain family and territory I've, I've, I've traveled all over Nigeria and I've got one thing I always try to do whenever I travel as I go to another place oh, that, to ask, what is the atmosphere that is working and does not work in this particular territory and in the side I actually go to site I met so many bricklayer developer people that are former supervisor and I ask them what was telling me in the, sir, he said in this particular city he said, no matter how a man will walk, his wife will feed him at the end of his life. No matter how rich that particular man is, he said there will be a season that that man will not go down, the wife will be feeding the man. He said that is why we that are here, anytime we finish our job here, we go to another village. That is where we build. We only transport ourselves to this place to walk, and after walk, we go back to another village that is nearest to us. I, when he told me this. Then I remember that God, you are powerful to say this Baklamon is a month of divine signature. Meaning just as a, tra a tribal mark, differentiate people from different territory. So the signature upon their life differentiate them. Have you ever sat down to look at your life? What signature is upon my head? I'm a talking somebody here. This is very crucial. Don't make a haste. Yes, don't make a haste. It is good for you to sit down to make sure what kind of signature is upon my life. Because Bible told us, he said there's an, a signature that was against a man. 
It says it has been written. There shall be a reversal this morning. Amen. I said in your family there shall be a reversal. Amen. Over your business there shall be a reversal. Amen. How will somebody will be walking like an elephant and be eating like an ant? It's a signature. Yes. Why will you be walking and at the backlog period you negotiated that money upon sickness and diseases over your child, over whoever? Why is it that the family you come from, you are the only one standing that on one leg that your husband has not run away? Every other ladies in that family, they ran away. It's a signature. Why is it that anytime you say, Lord, I want to rise from this bakla loss and all this bakla satanic appetite, you go down again? It's a signature. Because that signature said it worked against us. But there's a good news in the house this morning. I said there's a good news in the house this morning. There will be an override of divine signature over those baccalaureates. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. Chapter number 9, 3 to 6. New King James Version. Now the glory of God of Israel have gone up from the cherub where it has been to the threshold of the temple and he called to the man clothed with linen who had the writer's ink in the horn ink in the, in the horn hallelujah in the Old Testament any of the scribe you see scribe means the secretary uh -huh. Anytime you see a horn in their hand, either it is anointed that is inside or it is an ink for the king's signature. He said, and the Lord said to him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and put a mark on the forehead of the men who sigh and cry over all the abomination that are done with, within it. Verse number four, five, quickly. To the others, he said in my hearing, go after him through the city and what? Kill. Do not let your what? Your eyes spear and what? Nor have what? Have pity. The economy of Nigeria will never have person to be pity. I'm announcing this The only thing that immune you to be fortified and become great and better thing in need is for you to have this divine signature. Another name for divine signature, we call it heavenly approver. Am I talking to someone here? What do you call it? Heavenly approver. He said, this is my beloved son. In what? In whom I'm well placed. It's a divine approver. I pray for somebody today that your market, your family will receive heavenly approval. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That you, you sit down and God said, I have approved everything you are going to say today. That nothing will remain in that particular show without being sold. That as you go to office today, I have lined up a customer that will make you to be favorable in the sight of your orgas. That your children, as they go to school today, their brain became what? Renewed. To the extent what they do not know before, the signature of God and he changed it for them. Somebody hear him here. There are two assignments in that particular portion of the Bible. One said, 
go into the city mark their forehead put a signature on their head and he told the other person anyone you find that does not carry this signature what did he tell you to do? kill them so the harshness condition of Nigeria economy can be coming through many people's houses to the extent that husband and wife will be frustrated that what kind of Nigeria are we today and somebody will be thinking of depression and committing suicide. But because there's a signature of God over you, that thought will overpass you. Amen. Am I talking to somebody here? Because there's a signature of God upon your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Rest upon your feet. Did they do wrong? When you're talking about divine signature, it's an irrefutable expression of God's hands. Over a matter, over a case, consider to define man understanding or senses. Let me say it again. When you say divine signature, it's an irrefutable, meaning undeniable expression of God's hands over a matter, over a case. Consider to defy man's understanding and his senses. In summary, it means only God can do this testimony. What did I call divine signature? Only God can do this word. Testimony. When somebody asks you, what is that divine signature? Tell the person, only God can do this word. Testimony. May your own witness that testimony. Amen. May your business witness that testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Last Bible portion is book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 8 verse number 19. Before we pray this morning. Rebrado shatalari ketosh kataliya. Meku zalina mahanda katosh ketiliya na suzeli. Ambrado keliya na suzaliya no suzala katosh kama. You are there, you had a dream. Oh, and they use a cloth that is that is having that having holes to cover you. On that particular dream, I decree over your life today. Every of your effort will not go down the drain in Jesus' name. <laughs> I decree once again your labor this year 2024 will not be empty in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says then the magician said to Pharaoh this is the finger of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is a signature of victory. The Bible says the magician of the Pharaoh, the astrologer of Pharaoh, no matter how devices and enterprise of their understanding, they could not repeat the miracle. They told Pharaoh. This thing we saw is only God can do testimony. This is a finger of God. How I wonder the finger go with your businesses this morning. How I wonder the business go with your marriage this morning. It go over your children this morning. It go over everything that belongs to you this morning. 
I want you to pray a prayer this morning. Say, Father of light. See, this prayer you want to pray. Very key. Let me show to you in the Bible that prayer. Go to the book of uh, Second Samuel, eleven, verse number fourteen. You can give me NLT or NIV or New King James version, maybe in that order. So the next morning, David wrote a letter to Jo to Joab. And gave it to Uriah to deliver. You know the signature of that letter. It's a sentence of what? Death. You are going to pray. You say, Father of life. Whatever woman's signature that is contrary to my peace, contrary to my progress, this morning, divine signature swallow them. Divine signature swallow them. Go ahead and begin to pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Every woman's signature in any level contrary against my promotion, contrary against my children, contrary against this church. Let your divine signature swallow them. Somebody pray this prayer. In Jesus, marvelous they will pray. Amen. Open your eyes. May you not have a bitter experience. Amen. A man, this one, I'm not going to really mention him. I'll just say it. I don't know how many of you know that people just prove of fun. If you want to travel out, they call it proof of funds. How many of you know? May you be thinking of travel out. You are not saying amen. Say amen very well. Amen. I want to see you travel out. Don't say only in Okoba. Do you hear me? It doesn't matter. You can go there to go and buy product and come and say yeah. Because you have been blessed and you must be spending euro, dollar and pounds. This is a church where you are. Am I talking here? Yes, it's not a church that maybe pastor must only grow and the church member must be going down. No. We must be growing together. Remember our vehicles, is it not? Growth. Amen. It does a proof of fund to certain millions, almost like maybe 70 million. What do you call it? Though he's not going to withdraw that particular money, but he's going to be paying some certain charges. I'm not talking to somebody here. He paid charges. He collected the visa. So after about three months is the journey to Canada. So he got to Canada with all his family member. Now he has to go through the airport, maybe to wherever the hotel or wherever he has chosen, maybe to lodge. Now, they said there's a problem with the visa of one of his son, two children, father and mother making what? Four. And they scan through the system. It is now the signature of a notorious criminal in that particular land that was on the signature of what? Of his son. As a result, they asked them to stay in the room. You know, they were wanted to further do what? Interrogation. <laughs> I pray for you. Every hand that signed a weeping signature upon your destiny will be paralyzed in Jesus' hand. Now, after they spent almost like uh, 10 hours, the man was crying bitterly. Because he was repatriated only this back last January. They made a move at the beginning of January. By second week of January, what? They repatriated them. 
They said they are going to repatriate them, but however, because that particular man is a criminal, they are going to spend some days. They are giving them, you know, the police over there, they are friendly. In fact, they, are, they said they are even giving them coffee. They are buying them food. They are doing everything for them. But the situation is that they are going back. <laughs> I wonder that kind of situation. <laughs> I don't think I will eat up a club food when I remember 70 million charges. <laughs> Amen. They brought them back to Nigeria. Now handed over to the immigration. Now, I don't know what you understand about what they call Interpol police. I don't know. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want you to really identify what I'm saying. So, there's a particular criminal at that time. He said also in Nigeria. But however, they said they are looking for him. So, they set Interpol for that particular person. So, he came to Nigeria. So, they sent his signature to the immigration to ensure that he could not be able to do any particular passport again. So, alas, the person that did the passport of what? Of the son. They not know that it did. and the father too, his eyes was blocked to check because of joy. They don't even check what they are carrying to be able to identify that this signature it is not my son's signature. It should need dialogue, you sir. Share more cotton for your nissasi. Abi, share more to me. Why my share waro budara? Onti batoba wonu usu. That's what they call the sassy. I'm talking to someone here. So they investigate. They now trace to Nigeria immigration. They now said it is an error of Nigeria Nigeria immigration to have put that particular signature on that particular boy's signature. How did I know? They want to sue Nigeria immigration. They will sue. But the opportunity they miss, it will take another turn to be able to be infected. Somebody hearing me here? They miss up that particular. What kind of signature that is upon them that Nick Bateba Dibe Beati Shiri Ke Jakule? What kind of signature is that? If you can pray this morning, that signature will be the first of your destiny. Amen. Whatever signature signed against me. That at the place of my progress, that I should be hindered. Lord, reverse it this morning. Lord, reverse it this morning. Open your mouth and pray. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Lord, my heaven, Lord, again of glory of my Gabriel, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Command and pray that prayer, the angel, Lord, King of Glory, Father, that is now working good for me, Lord. Wherever signature King of Glory, contrary to my progress, the name of Jesus, Father, command the Lord, contrary to my Lord, Father, that would be the man, my career, my God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I command them to be reversed now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command them to be reversed now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command them to be reversed now. In the name of Jesus, the next song of negativity. In the name of Jesus, I command them to be reversed now. In the name of Jesus, the nature of the land. I command them to be reversed now. In the name of Jesus, the nature of rising and falling. I command them to be reversed now. In the name of Jesus, 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 be reversed now.